The Family Resilience Initiative is a community program where we have patient navigators embedded in our clinic that work with families by forming relationships with them and building rapport and getting into the things that affect the whole child's and, and whole family's health. We'll come in, we'll introduce ourselves. Hey, my name is Kristen. Um, I'm an outreach coordinator here in the clinic. We work closely with the doctors. And then I'll ask you a series of the questions, the social determinants of health questions. So if you have food insecurities, you're struggling with rent, you're struggling with your utility bill, or if baby just needs diapers or any type of resources, we are able to provide the information to the families. You know, our direct health care that we provide in the clinic only affects maybe about a 20% of someone's overall health. And the other components of that, we think about our social determinants of health, and that makes up such a large portion of the overall health of an individual. And so if we're not affecting that area of health, we're really falling well short of, you know, affecting that whole child as far as promoting their overall health and, and prevention, which is what pediatrics is all about. You may not want to tell me that you're struggling. And so that's kind of difficult in itself. Really, like I was kind of scared of it at first because I'm like, <laughs> should I really do this? Or is it best for my kids? Overall, once families learn about the, the program and what we're doing, um, they are interested and, and want to be involved. Uh, I think somewhere around 70 or 75 percent of our families uh, do sign up for it once they're eligible. So I got involved with the program because I was once uh, a client. Me, as a person who's been there and gone through the struggles, to know what it's like to not have and to want someone's help but can't get it. But I'm also afraid at the same time that if someone finds out that I'm struggling and I have babies, they may take my children from me. But that's not the case. We're not here to report that you don't have lice. We're not here to report that your baby didn't eat yesterday. We're here to assist you. As we go forward, you know, the, the outreach coordinators continue to work with these families and as they build those relationships, it's not unusual for us to uh, uncover additional items that maybe they didn't want to tell us or at the first visit, but as that comfort and trust grows, maybe they tell us further on down the line. It starts at home, but then if we can lend a helping hand to help those people who are in need instead of turning our backs on them, what more could you ask for? Like, don't turn your nose on them. We're not here to judge. If this program was not here, it's no telling where some of those parents would be with their children. One parent, the M child attorneys helped her get the um, illegal eviction off of her credit so that she could go ahead and seek somewhere else to be or to live. So if we wasn't around, I don't think that she could have did it on her own. So I'm glad that we were here to help her. If it wasn't for the family resilience, I would be in a probably bad predicament right now in the day. I hope that it continues to grow and um, we can get into even more clinics, go into the hospital, and continue to make a difference for these children and their families. I really love y'all and appreciate y'all because if it wasn't for the program, I don't know where I would be.